Hi, and welcome back to episode four of my COVID video diary. As you can see, my hair has started to get completely out of control. Um, thinking of going for some kind of dreadlock effect if things go on much longer, or maybe a kind of flock, flock of seagulls. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll work something out for, for next week, see how we go in. Um, continue to work on expanding the bunker. Uh, yesterday, I broke through into some sort of mine system. It looks nice. I'm going to go and explore a little bit more later. And uh, last night, it sounded like the neighbors had some sort of drum circle going. It's a great way for them to pass the time. I hope they're friendly. Oh, what else has been going on this week? Well, social media seems to have broken down into two camps. On the one side, headed up rather bizarrely by former Oxford United reserve team goalkeeper and part-time son of God, David Icke. Um, we got the side that seems to think that, um, okay, let me see if I have this right. The whole COVID thing is a conspiracy set up by Bill Gates to use 5G to make the entire world sick, which would necessitate us buying a vaccine from Bill which includes a mind-controlled chip that will force Americans not to vote for Trump at the next election, thereby making Bill Gates lots of money, something he clearly lacks. The other alternative of the Democrats actually running a legitimate candidate, that was way too much effort, so they went the simple route. Um, the other camp seems to think that Anyone leaving the house, even if it's just to go to the end of their drive to collect the mail, is risking the certain extinction of the entire human race, and that we should instead stay at home, wrap ourselves in cling film, clap every Thursday, and set off sky lanterns to appease the angry sky gods so that they cure the disease for us. I think I've got that right. Um, personally, I think there might be some sort of a middle ground where the truth actually lies, but pff, what do I know? What else? Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to the awesome guys at Drift House Surf Shop. They totally hooked me up with some awesome sofa surfer shorts, perfect for working from home. Uh, exactly the kind of business, local business, everyone should be supporting them right now. Um, ensure that they're still there when we get through this. Um, check them out. I'm going to add a link on the online notes here, uh, a link to their store. And, and honestly, beyond that, just wherever you are, support your local businesses. Now, now is not the time to throw your money at big chains. It's the time to support the kind of quirky, friendly local businesses that are really struggling to make payroll and make rent right now. Those are the guys we all need to be looking out for because that's what makes our communities. And, and, and frankly, that's, that's who I, I really want to be there when I get back. If there's one less Starbucks, one less McDonald's, really not going to affect my life but some of the businesses around here if they're not here that will be a tragedy um what else uh oh final thing i wanted to put a challenge out there anyone watching stick in the comments the weirdest company that has felt the need to send you an email to let you know their covid policy i know i've got some really bizarre companies that felt i desperately needed to know what they were doing um, we'll, we'll look at what, what different comments people come up with, different companies people come up, see if we can find the bizarrest one. Okay, let's look at those numbers. Uh, we have broken the 2 million mark for infected, broken the 26,000 mark for deaths. Yes, China, we believe your numbers, totally honest. Of course, Kim Jong-un, you've managed to completely avoid COVID in your country. I, I, I guess you did that between those back-to-back -back 20 under par rounds of golf. Uh, what else? 40,000 now recovered. Obviously, that's not counting all the people that never got a test. So, you know, these stats, they are what they are. They're, they're what we've got, but we know they're not going to be complete until we get truly out the other side of it. I guess... Everybody out there, again, stay safe out there, wear your face masks, when you're out in public, wash your hands, and don't lick old people. <laughs>